Hello, John. Hello, Oliver. And we're just going to talk about, um, there was an 89-year-old man, he was attacked um, in County Cork by uh, a man in his early 30s, I think it was, and you're going to tell us more about that now. That's right. Um, uh, it was another headline in the, the Irish Independent of the 23rd of January, and it says, Gardy probe if noise should provoke fatal hospital attack. Uh, so um, there was an 89-year-old man in, in hospital in Cork, his wife, he was from a place called Berries in, in West Cork, or North Cork, Berries, I think, and very well respected and liked in the general area. That uh, a family of four, and I think one of their daughters was killed in a car accident some years back, but his wife died uh, in the 2nd of January this year. Now, he was in hospital, uh, and but a, a fairly fit man for 89 uh, by his appearance. And... Um, and it would be other probably older folk, older people in the same ward. But uh, in any event, uh, the alarm was raised when he had been beaten and died. So security and all the rest of it uh, become involved and found a 30-year-old man in an agitated state uh, that was in the same ward. And... Uh, whether he had issues with uh, the way older folk might uh, snore or whatever it is. Uh, but uh, he attacked this 89-year-old man and caused his death. He's under arrest now and in custody with the Gardaí. Uh, this was in the, the call at the Mercy University Hospital in Cork. Now, that's the first time I ever saw the word mercy attached to Cork University Hospital. It was always referred to that, so uh, I wonder why they put mercy, because there wouldn't be any, it must have been uh, started years ago, as many of the hospitals were, but the Sisters of Mercy or the, uh, the various other nuns that started hospitals, uh, like the Lewis Hospital in Drogheda that was started by nuns. And as a matter of fact, a lot of the hospitals were started by nuns, uh, and then they were taken over by the state and uh, getting scant tanks were what they did uh, in regard to hospitals and regard to education all the rest of it by the present uh, secular crowd. Uh, so um, a disunfortunate man has met his maker ahead of his time. Uh, he looked like a man that would have some more years to live and was in for whatever it was, it doesn't say, and it doesn't say anything about this 30 mile, but this 30 year old was from Cork. You know, whether from the city or what, I don't know, it doesn't say much about him, but he's been arrested and uh, charged uh, with, with unlawful killing a mother. But, uh, so that's the way it is, but it's the fact that a man could uh, be killed in hospital when he's there for treatment there's something not good about that sort of situation. And yet there was, uh, there was patients there that witnessed it, raised the, raised the alarm. And uh, there would have been nurses, I presume, somewhere. But is this perhaps the shortage of nurses that we hear about, uh, that they're overworked and maybe there was no nurse in the room, in the ward, that for this event? took place or maybe there was nobody of, of a of a nurse's staff it doesn't say that but they all the security in the hospital and all the rest would come uh, and uh, try to revive the man but he died the old man uh, the 89 year old man and uh, so um, that's the situation and what the tragedy is uh, that a, a person can suffer such an injury in hospital we don't know how many more injuries because we often hear sometimes that the accident emergency department in hospitals is often full of people that are have indulged in um, alcohol, um, too much alcohol and maybe mixed with drugs and they cause terrible ructions in the accident and emergency uh, areas, especially at weekends and people often suffer as a result. And uh, people that need the treatment are often having to wait in the accident emergency for 24 hours before they can be seen. I've come across this uh, down in even the country in, in, in Castlebar County, Mayo, where people have to wait uh, hours, maybe 
from morning until the night, middle of the night, before they're seen. And then some people on trolley. So you've got this situation in hospital that they're that they're not able to cope, the hospitals that operate, they're not able to cope with the amount of people needing attention. And so therefore, they should have never closed hospitals that they closed. They could have taken care of the sort of uh, problems that encounter. And when people have these issues at the weekends by way of too much drink and all the rest of it, there should be a separate place for them to be dealt with and not in the general where ordinary people that have uh, needed attention and have been brought by ambulance or something else. So are brought by their family to be attended to. I know somebody that brought their sister to be attended to in hospital and they had to wait until the middle of the night and st stay in the car and that kind of thing. And uh, so to be seen, there was no point to come back tomorrow. It'd be the same thing again. So this is the tragedy of that man, uh, but there could be other situations where somebody doesn't die but can be injured with this uh, chaos that occurs in these uh, accident emergency awards, especially at, at, at weekends. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Sean. Thank you very much, Oliver.